we're gonna make a little bit of a different Animal Crossing video today. So I was thinking there were some villager names that I found to be a little bit problematic um, in terms of, uh, I've gotten some comments on my videos saying that I was pronouncing them incorrectly or, and I've seen um, all kinds of interesting pronunciations of names and I thought I would give my two cents on how I think they should be pronounced, um, but you're welcome to do whatever you want. I noticed that some of these names are problematic, especially if you are an English speaker from the United States. So here is my two cents. So what are my qualifications for this? I am a classical singer with two degrees in uh, vocal classical performance, which means I have to have proficiency in basic uh, singing languages, which is our like Italian, German, French, Russian, Latin, and even English. English was the most difficult diction class I took actually because English is both inconsistent and borrows a lot from other languages. I was also required to learn the IPA, which is the International Phonetic Alphabet, and I feel like I like languages and I find some of this stuff fascinating. So disclaimer, proper names are pretty much a free-for-all. If your name is Jessica and you wanna pronounce it Jessica or Jessica or Jessique, that is your choice and your business. One of my favorite classical composers is this person. Normally in French, if you want to buy go French uh, enunciation conventions, you would say Poulenc, but actually it's pronounced Poulenc because that's the way he and his family pronounced it. <laughs> it's confusing, but it's the way that it is. Suffice it to say, I would take my suggestions with a grain of salt. And uh, if you want to call this villager Klaus or claws, it's your business. <laughs> and whatever you wanna do is whatever you wanna do that makes you happy. So I'm gonna be referring to my pronunciation suggestions as uh, generally accepted rather than correct because whatever you wanna do is whatever you wanna do. All right, let's get started. First we have this villager, which is the villager that inspired this video in the first place. I got a comment that it was to be pronounced blanche, like the color, like that means white in French. Well, that pronunciation is totally correct for that name. If you are old enough to remember either the TV show Golden Girls, you can pronounce this name Blanche and it would still be okay. Blanche Devereaux and Blanche Dubois were two very famous Blanches and all pronounced their names like this. So if, you, if your name is Blanche in the comments, tell me if you pronounce your name Blanche or Blanche. Now we have this villager. <laughs> Which Americans and English speakers looks like Canberra, which would be a fun play on words because she kind of looks like a koala. Well, she is a koala. And a lot of people say koala bear, which actually the koalas aren't bears, but it's stuck. And actually the scientific name for koala actually has bear in the name. So even scientists are calling koala bears, even though they're not bears. It's really weird, but um, it would be kind of cute. However, this sisterly villager is named after the capital city in Australia, Canberra. I think if you're from Australia, you have like a more like a bright A sound, you say Canberra. I've heard it pronounced Canberra with like an N sound and both Canberra with a, an M sound. I'm not really sure. I, I think there's some debate about where actually the name com came from and, and, and it's, it's very controversial, but the generally accepted pronunciation of this name is Canberra. Fun fact, I did find out that at one point people were in Australia were saying Canberra, but that, that but that fell out of favor. And now if you said Canberra in Australia, people would look at you and be like, what are you talking about? It's like if you say Gloucester in here in Massachusetts and it's Gloucester, it's a whole thing. Now we have this villager, which is probably the reason you clicked on this video in the first place. This is pretty controversial because Nintendo challenged English speech speakers with a French name because they removed all of the accent markings from all of the French names in the game. Removing accent marks kind of takes away the context of like, first of all, what language it is. And secondly, how we're supposed to say the, the name. This villager is named after any cheese you would make from the milk of goats, which makes the name a little weird, but also super cute. And I pronounce it chèvre. Again, we're missing accent marks for context, so we have two syllables in the name. We have ch with the accent grav uh, over the e, which makes the e sound open, and then we have v r e chèvre, and the the first syllable of the name is probably the most accented syllable, with the end of the name, the fr, uh, 
a syllable at the end being the unstressed syllable. Now, a lot of people are like, the E is silent. The E is not exactly silent, but it's just usually dropped if you're talking really quickly. Um, if you if you if you speak really quickly and you say the name, you're probably going to drop the E at the end. But there is a sound that that E makes, and it's the upside down E, which is also called schwa. It's basically a sound that goes uh. But if you if you want to say chevre, if you're American, that's totally fine. But make sure it's chevre and uh, probably not chevre. Now we have this villager, and this is a fun one. His name is a super fun play on words because he is a jock villager, and I pronounce it Cousteau. So he's named after a famous French oceanographer and filmmaker, Jacques Cousteau, and he's a jock villager. So he's Jacques Cousteau, which is super fun. Fun fact, his uh, Jacques Cousteau's name is actually Jacques-Yves Cousteau, and Yves is actually my husband's name. Yay. And now we have this villager. This, I call him Cyrano. Not Cyrano or Cyrano. It's Cyrano. He is named after Cyrano de Bergerac because he is a 17th century playwright uh, and I think, what else did he do? He was a author and he is portrayed in a very famous play about his life or his existence and is portrayed as having a very, very large nose. And so that's the perfect name for an anteater with a large nose. <laughs> Now we have this villager. If you are a typical English speaker in America, this name is not a very common given name. However, if you are a European, especially a French European, you probably see this name more often than we do. And it is pronounced, as far as I can tell, Mael. It also has variations in other languages because it was based off of a fifth century saint who lived in Wales. So it's pronounced Mael. I think it's gaining in popularity in this country and a lot of Americans are naming their kids Mael, but calling them Mael, uh, which is a little bit easier. Um, but it, every, uh, it's again, this is one of those names that's missing the accent marks over some of the letters. So it's missing the little, oh, I forgot what that's called, the little dots in umla. It's called umlaut in German, but it's called something else in French. And I forgot what it's called, but I'll put it on the screen. And it indicates that the two vowels that are next to one another, that they should be pronounced separately. So they don't blend together. So it's ma, oops. So it's Mael. It's kind of like Noel, but Mael. I think it's hard for Americans to say because Noel and uh, Joel, we have this W glide at the end of the letter O. So we say O, but we don't have that sound at the at the end of the letter A when we say A. So we have, it's a little bit harder to go Mael than to go Noel because we can just glide on to the next syllable, but it's Mael. Again, however you pronounce it is fine. You can say Mael if you want. Okay, Nintendo didn't do us any favors with this villager because again, they removed all of the accent marks, taking away all of the context in, first of all, what language this was and how we were supposed to say it. Now, pate without any accents is a thing. It means head or crown or top of the body. And that's a totally legit thing, but I don't think that that's what they meant when they named this villager. Because she's a duck, I think her name is Pate. Pate is the yummy paste made from goose liver or duck liver or any kind of meat. And which again, makes the name a little bit weird, but a still a cute name. <laughs> They've taken away the circumflex from the A and the um, accent aigu from the E, which doesn't give us any context about how we're supposed to say the name, but I do believe it's pate because she's duck and duck liver pate, which is delicious, but again, very weird. You say pecan and I say pecan. Now this villager is named after a very nice black tea and it is called pico. Now it looks like it could be pecoe, but it's pico because apparently it's a word that is transliterated. That means not exactly translated, but like somebody heard it and they transliterated it into like what they thought it sounded like. So some English person was in, you know, hearing Chinese and they heard, I think they heard two words, the pisk pe uh, and ho, I think are the two Chinese words. I'm probably butchering them, but they mean white and down because that describes the white downy leaves from the tea. Um, and it's, I, I heard it's actually not a bad transliteration. So it's like pe ho, but he heard pico and that's the name of the tea. And that's the name of this villager. Such a cute name. Lastly, we have this villager who is a super cute villager and I call him Tybalt. Not Tybalt, but Tybalt like the character from Romeo and Juliet. 
In the play Romeo and Juliet, uh, Tybalt is referred mockingly as the Prince of Cats. And I think that has some uh, reference to a really, really old play where the the cat character in the play was called Tibbert. Um, and it's uh, Tybalt is a medieval form of Theobald. And if you say Theobald really quickly, it sounds like Tybalt. Theobald. Tybalt. <laughs> Also in the UK, I think popular cat's names are like Tibbles and uh, Tibby. So uh, it's, it's for, from that context, I'm getting that it's Tybalt and Tybalt is a super cute cat. Well, he's a, a sort of cat. He's a tiger, but he's still cute. Again, you can pronounce these names any way you want. It is your business. If you find a pronunciation that works for you, it's totally cool. But I, I hope that I've given you some other uh, choices for pronunciations and uh, this video was informative. So if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. And if you like uh, Animal Crossing videos and all kinds of fun Nintendo fun, subscribe. <laughs> I hope you guys are having a great morning, great afternoon, great evening, wherever you are. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.